boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Big Red's Snack Attack. I didn't have no uh, dinner tonight. Had lunch, no no breakfast, just lunch, a late lunch, and no dinner. Didn't feel like cooking in too much pain. So this is what tonight's dinner is going to be. We have Jack Nicholas ice cream. I thought this cat was a golfer. What the hell does he know about ice cream? But anyway, this was a flavor my son picked out, and then he decided he didn't want it. So I'm going to eat it. And I hate this flavor. Chocolate. We had this discussion before. I'm very selective with my chocolate. This is... uh chocolate ice cream uh, it's chocolate peanut butter I'm sorry chocolate peanut butter swirl and then he's got a whole story about what he's you know well, hey, this is a, it's a good deal hold on let me read that here in a minute we'll see there's the carton it says on here storied partnership Superior scoop. I can't read all of that. I'm late. It's late. My eyes hurt. And uh, I don't have my reading glasses on. So it says, put your money where your miracles are. Um, part of the proceeds of this goes to Children's Miracle Network. So it's for the kids. So I'll take a shot of, I'll take a shot of uh, Jack Nicholas's cream in my mouth for the kids, you know. Usually I save that for if I'm hitchhiking and I got to get about 50 miles up the road, you take a shot of man cream in your mouth. But, uh, you know, this is for the kids, so I'll take a shot of his cream in my mouth. So, let, let's see how, how to open this crap here up. It's got some kind of fancy dancy little ring around it. Keeps it closed. There we go. <clears throat> this, this was on clearance or closeout at the local Kroger. I guess nobody was buying it. So they're closing it out. So and it's still way expensive. It's like close out two dollars and eighty cents for a, a what's this, a pint? Yeah. I think that's what it is, yeah. Two dollars and eighty cents for a pint. So Jack Nicholas, your cream better be good. Look at that. Took my first load. It's for the kids, y'all. It's like a... It's got chunks of chocolate in it. And that was like a peanut butter flavor taste. And this was definitely weird. Like one bite I get like straight up chocolate, and then the next bite I get chocolate peanut butter. I can see why it's not selling. It's one of those. It's not a very slow shit. Sorry about that. Camera slip. I'm sitting here doing my thing, ain't even paying attention to y'all. Sorry. I know why it don't sell. I usually eat bluebell, but since I'm doing this snack attack, I'm gonna try I'm going outside of my usual and out of my comfort zone. To report on this for you guys. I mean, I guess as far as chocolate ice cream goes, the flavor is not bad. But I could see why this isn't really selling very well because uh, okay, 
it's got chunks in it of chocolate, you know, like big chunks, almost not as big as Ben and Jerry's, and not as much as Ben and Jerry's. See, Ben and Jerry's to me, they should just call it chunks with ice cream. Because there's more chunks of whatever they're trying to hock in there than there is ice cream. This has got more ice cream than chunks. But it's a gritty ice cream. And somewhere... It sounds like big old chunks of peanut butter. Um, and somebody told me one time that gritty ice cream it's not necessarily the way it's made They say it got hot or not hot. It got, once it was frozen, after it was liquid, when it, ice cream's obviously liquid, then they freeze it. But after it got frozen, somewhere in transit, the temperature changed and then went back once it hit the next place's freezer. I forgot how it was explained to me. So if you know why sometimes you get gritty ice cream, because once in the blue moon, not very often, I'll get some gritty bluebell. But for the most part, it's always smooth. And I'd rather my ice cream smooth. But I mean, like I said, I really don't like chocolate, so... This has got just enough peanut butter flavor in it to make me not mind the chocolate. I wish I had my glasses on so I could read this container. It's how getting old, boys and girls. I don't recommend it. Oh, shit. Old bird nest working. Oh, bird nest bib. Caught a drop there, and I just got out the shower too, so I'm gonna go rinse down my beard here in a minute. I could see if um, getting a little warm and then getting refrozen causes it gritty. If that's true, it don't take much for this to get defrosted because. 
I mean, I don't know how long I've been eating this. Ten minutes? Ten minutes and I got some pretty melted ice cream there. Because, uh... Oh, good lord. Like, way at the bottom, there's like a big layer of peanut butter. I mean, like, look at that. That's all peanut... All of that is peanut butter. Now, something definitely had to happen with this. Yeah, this isn't a very hard ice cream. It it melts up pretty fast. So there you have it. Jack Nicholas brand ice cream. Chocolate peanut butter swirl. It wasn't much of a swirl. It was more like hard ass chunks of peanut butter in chocolate ice cream. Almost like and when we bought this, I was like, eh, it's chocolate, but it's peanut butter, so it might be like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Nice try, but no cigar. Um, I don't know why they weren't selling, because they kind of, eh. The only thing good about this ice cream so far is that part of the proceeds went to Children's Miracle Network for the sick kids, so... I guess there's something positive out of this. Jack Nichols. I mean, Jack Nicholas. You should stick to the golf course, buddy. So I'm going to have to give old Jack Nicholas ice cream, at least this flavor, two flip flops. <coughs> Gritty. It wasn't a swirl, like it said. It was more chunky peanut butter. And, uh, yeah. So, down there, there's a comment section. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if they have it in your grocery or whatever. Also, down there, subscription bar. Subscribe. You know when I have new content. Uh, give me old thumbs up, thumbs down, smash whichever button you want. It don't matter to me. This one or this one. I prefer these. And uh, as always, tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma. Share this video with your family and friends. This has been Big Red for Big Red Snack Attack. Check out my other videos until uh, next time. May all your snacking experiences be ghetto fabulous. See y'all next time.